Okay, sorry, it looks like I had an internet connection problem. So anyway, here's the, I want to show you something else going on in the feed. Look at this, watch how the video opens up here. Do you see that? The picture, the still picture is sideways. And then it plays a video, so we got to fix that so that does not happen. Okay, even here, it's a side, it should autoplay. So it's autoplaying, but you can see the person switched. Well, it should autoplay. So you'd see how long the lag is for that. We got to fix that. We have to optimize all this stuff. See, in here, there was no picture. There should have been a still picture. Okay. The picture here is not loaded yet. There, see, there it is. So I'm not sure if there's an internet issue or what, but it shows I have good internet connection, so. Okay. So let's go back to the wheel. Oh, so I wanted to tell you also, let, let me log out once. Log out. Go to settings. Um, so we log out. Here, uh, when, the, when the user first opens up the application, they should not get to that screen we just saw. When a user first opens up the app, they have to get to this screen where it has a login or sign up. So we have limited functionality. Apple did not did not approve our and last time we uploaded an app because we were not letting people access the application and read reviews unless they signed up. And they said that wasn't good for the user experience. So if you see below here, the images, there's no images that load up because that's all custom. So once you actually have people that you friend and in your newsfeed, it will show you know the background images here and browser views and my post same thing so um so that's why we have we modified our app so that users can still use the app uh without having to create an account but now when you create an account so let's say you sign up um let's say you sign up by email here we all we had to add a prefer not to say for gender Okay, so you can see this is another option here, prefer not to say. So in the movie section, we actually show how people vote by gender. Um, and so for the people that click prefer not to say, we just won't include that them in our calculations. Okay. Now we do have to abide by COPA laws. And so the child online privacy protection laws. So basically anyone under 13 years of age cannot sign up or use our application. Okay, so we'll close this. Let me just show you a couple other things in there. We have a whole section called CRP, which is the, the uh, Community Review Project section. So here you can review um, other people's projects over here. Okay, you can review other people's projects you can browse other projects. We'll go to the browse section. Right here. Let's go to art. I don't know why none of the images are showing up because they should all show up here. Now see everywhere where we there's a user can make a contribution or um, do anything like write a review, um, we actually ask them to log in or sign up. Okay. So 
So let me log in. Oop. So we can go back to the CRP section. Browser views. This is browsing projects. Now here you can see in the top right you can create a new project. Right here. Probably just fix the UI here. Maybe you know put the single in the center here, just like the word multiple is. We have three different confidence levels. So I've given one the uh, the calculations for how we calculate all of these things to determine when it is when the project is completed. We have to have enough people um, giving their thoughts on a project and reviewing a project before it's over, before we hit these confidence levels. So I've given that to Juan. See this? This all works fine. Demographics. Oh, this should work fine. Okay, you can save it as a draft or you can submit. Okay, so now the barcode is another thing right here. So you could click barcode and we're using a new company that does the barcode scanning and so you can scan in a UPC code for a product. Let's see if I have one. Um, I don't have anything on me, but actually you, you scan a UPC code. We need to copy this on Android to be the same. The way that this gesture works, this thing going up and down, the Android one doesn't work like this. So we need to be able to, to uh, scan something in properly. And then what happens is that we don't get the category that the product is in. We get the image information and then we're supposed to create a listing page. And the user can either read the reviews from there or write review or create a review. So if we already have the listing in our database, they just we bring up the listing and they can read reviews from there. So scanning a barcode, they can either create a product if it's not in our database or they can uh, read the reviews for that. And then here, uh, you think I left off on uh, show times. I tried loading up the time last time. Here we go. There we go. See? And then you can get directions for how to get there. See how this. This is home theater. You can set your home theater in your profile so this shows all the time the movies are playing. Star Wars. So, and then it goes back to the main screen. So all this stuff works, we just need to optimize it so it loads faster. Um, and let me show you one other thing over here. The history, basically this is a history of all, we actually ask the user to get their location because we want to make it easier. So everywhere they go throughout the day, we will, if they're anywhere for over, I believe it's a minute, or sorry, two minutes, uh, we will add that business into their history. So that way they can all see when they want to write a review, they don't have to keep searching for it and remembering the names, they just go to their history and should all be there wherever they want. Okay, that's why we were asking for location services. Then there is check-in, your picks, which is just your your list of your favorites and, and wants. Um, movies and the categories, it just lets you go to the main category. And I went think I went through everything. I just want to show you settings. Here are the different settings. Account settings. See, these are privacy. This is how you delete your account. This is very similar to the way Facebook does it. 
Here are your notification settings. Email settings and oh, that crashed the app. We have to find out why that crashed. By default, everything they were subscribed to. You can see my profile. See? So by default, we should have the most, the widest settings chosen for everyone. Okay. I don't know why some of those weren't. Okay. Post all my reviews on Facebook. Um, first of all, these arrows are in the wrong section the, this arrow you see how the arrows are wrong this this arrow should be the bottom arrow should should be in the same area where this one is so the first one has no arrow but it's on the second part of the screen so this design this ui has to be fixed all of these arrows need to be in the same line as the text that it, it applies to See, this one is where, right? But these are wrong. So we gotta fix that. Now, I already have my URL. So I don't know why it's not showing here, but it should. So the screen is getting in the way, so I can't really see it. See this? You have to get rid of the keyboard on this. So users can see. So I already have this. Uh, I already have this name, Dreamy. No, I don't know if it's working because I typed in the name. I typed it in, but it's not doing anything. So we have to look at fixing that too in the settings. But other than that, I think, uh, you know, most of the stuff I'm going to explain to you, I went through all these sections. Let me just show you one last one, which is the main categories. So let's go to restaurants. So here we always have what's on your watch list, what's what's trending nationally or locally. And that shows some in the category what your connections are doing, what they're what they're writing for their reviews. Okay. So here it says my connections activity, but you can't see the, you can't see anything there, right? So only when you click on it does it show up. 
See right here, now I can't even scroll. So we have to fix this so the scrolling actually works up and down by category. So there is a buyer's guide for business categories. Let's just go to home services, let's say. You can see all the text here. See how you can't read it here? This has to be fixed. Okay? So that's all you can read properly. And then there was a little icon over here on the top right of business that showed uh, buyer's guide. So I need to, I'll send you guys the links to, to do that because we have to implement that too. The buyer's guide needs to show up. There's a buyer's guide section for every category or subcategory or sub subcategory. You know, every parent and child category has these buyer's guides, which I will send you the designs for. And I think it, it used to work, so I don't know why it's not, why I don't see it now. Maybe you can see and find, if you can see if you can find the code somewhere because I'm sure it's in there. Okay, thank you.